Hello guys! Uh, welcome sa ating brainstorming for our readings in history Philippines na subject. So, we are the group for and our topic is about the speech of Kalibati Acting Director Camilo Osayas on 7th December 1943. To formally start our brainstorming, let us first introduce ourselves. I am Simon's Josh Naji Badoy. I am Fariza Harun Abdullah. And I am Halima Noy. And I am Halima Noy. I am Haima Pancho Salik. And I am... I am, I am Miss Naira S. Tula. Hello, Liza. Hello, Liza. Oh. I introduce mo na lang sa ito para mag-start tayo sa brainstorm. Ming natin. Ah, sige, sige. Siguro hindi mo kaya ng net ni Liza, no? Pero uh, makita nga din siguro sa recording. And now, we are moving on sa ating main purpose ng GMIT na ito. Ready na ba kayo, guys? Chill-chill lang, ha? Ready na dapat? Yes. Okay. Um, our first, first question is, ano ba yung thoughts nyo sa topic natin? What are your thoughts about sa ating topic? Sino una sagot? Anyone? Anyone? Ako lang po. Hello? So, uh, our topic is the speech uh, delivered by the Captain Director General of the Kalimpaki Kaminyo Oshas on uh, December 7, 1943. So, she, he delivered the uh, uh, Kapisanan of sa Bagong Pilipinas or the or, or also known as Kali Bapi, in short, will be exactly a year old, for it was uh, on December 8, 1942. Thank you, Princess. Sino next? Ako na. Ako po. I thought to our topic that Kalapabi is a Cretan new Philippines out of in the which the greater is Asia was declared in his away countryside as being devastated, devastated town in a city. That's what I read in, in our topic. Ay, wow. Sana all nagbabasa na ng topic mo. Advance si Salik. Okay, next. Sino? Sino next? Ako Anyone? Na. Okay, go. Lima. So, ang, uh, ang totes ko sa uh, Kalip, Kalibapi is Ang Kalibapi is also known as Kapisanan ng Paglilingkod sa Bagong Pilipinas o sa English is Association for Service to the New Philippines. So, ang thoughts ko dito is uh, may may tutulong ba ito sa uh, in the future natin? So, mamaya is malalaman din naman natin sa mga uh, next uh, na sasagot. So, yun lang po. 
Thank you sa pag-share ng thoughts. I like it. Okay, okay. next. Okay. Far? Learn ka to? Far? Learn ka to? So, uh, so, uh, uh, so, uh, 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 the cause of all the peoples of Greater East Asia. Grabe mga thoughts yan. No? And sa akin naman, simple lang siya. Same lang siya dun kay, kay Princess. From the word, I from the title itself, no? speech. So obviously, speech talaga siya about sa kalibapi ng isang acting director na si Camilo Osayas. Okay, so I guess wala na po sasagot. May hapul pa sa thoughts natin. Wala na. Mag-move on na po tayo. Ako so, pa. Ah, oh, sige, go, go, go. Ang objective ng organization na ito is to help put a country squarely on its economic feet. Okay, thank you po. And... Ano na? Wala na pong pahabol. So, dito na tayo sa mga major questions kung saan um, mafo-find out natin anong meron sa topic natin. So, the first question is, what does the document or the artifact says? Or ano ba ang pinapahiwati or sinasabi ng topic natin na ito? So, may I? Sure, sure. So, the... Um, Arinig niyo ako. So, what does the document or our artifact say? So, um, the document shows the speech delivered by the uh, acting director general of the Kalibapi, Camilio Osias. Yes, by second. Over station PIAM uh, in connection with the first anniversary of the Kalibapi in uh, December 7, 1943. So, Camilo Osias says that the, um, that the Kalibapi was born uh, of a dire, dire need for creating a new Philippines out of the, uh, out of the ruins and uh, that debris. Debris of the old which the Greater East Asia War, declared one year earlier, had left in its wake. Country sites had been laid, waste farms had been devastated, town and cities had been scarred out of existence. Okay, thank you for the information. Grabe no, parang ano na siya, yung... Parang nag-summary ka na. <laughs> Thank you sa information par. Next. Si Ako po. Sino po yung next? Ako. Okay, go. So, um, this document says that Kalibapi is, it helps Philippines building the economics of Philippines that was affected by the global, global war of Greater East Asia War. So, it shows on how Thai possibly helped support and assist our country in global war so it is also time will tell how effective the kalibapi will be in assisting our country and people in weathering the storms of the current global battle so that's all <laughs> okay next um next question what was the provenance or source of the document? 
So, the origin or source of the documents is the Office of the Solicitor General Library. That's all. Okay, sino po magdagdag information about dito sa number two question? Ako. Okay po, the floor is yours. So the origin of this document is located at Presidential Museum and Library, second floor of Kalayaan Hall, Malacanang, JP, Laurel Street, at San Miguel, Manila. Thank you, Paul, for the details. Um, the third question, sino ba ang author ng uh, topic na ito? If applicable siya, di ba? Of course, meron naman talaga ang author. So, sino ang author nito? Permission to speak. The first, I... The second author is Pio Duran. Ito si Duran is a brilliant lawyer who became a successful businessman and respected politician and open Japanophile who helped establish the Makapili. Siya yung tumulong sa, sa first author na ma-establish ang Makapili. Duran was born in Gunabatan, Albay. After his uh, elementary schooling in the province of Albay, he enrolled at the Manila High School where he finished his secondary education in 1917. He attended the University of the Philippines, the earning this, the earning three years, three, 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 three college degree successfully. First is Bachelor of Arts in 1999, Bachelor of Laws in 1923, Bachelor of Master Master, uh, Bachelor of Master of Laws in 1926. He formed the law office of Duran, Lim, and Tua, Tuazon, which gained the confidence of Big Farm. Duran had a way with a common man, dealing with them in a labor concept. He settled cases more than negotiating table than in courts. He is a strong businessman. Duran was found himself being adorned and more toward business activities, particular in agricultural field. He bought track and land of in his province and become a successful and respected rice and coconut hacendero to help other farmers in province. He initiated the organization of the Coconut Growers Association with the end of view of proving quality of their copra product. And that's Pio Duran who helped establish the Makapili. Thank you, Sally. So the second author is uh, is Camilo Oshas. So Camilo Oshas is an educator, writer, and he was also the author of the Filipino Way of Life. Camilo Oshas rose from a being a classroom teacher to being the first Filipino superintendent of schools. He also became the first president of the National University. During the World War II, Camilo Oshas served under the Kali Bapi, and also he delivered his speech during the first anniversary of Kali Bapi. So that's all. Okay, thank you po sa pag-introduce sa ating dalawang author, no? Thank you sa mga details. Um, and I'm sure na i-research niya talaga yan siya. Sino pa pong magdagdag, if ever may magdagdag pa? If wala na po, proceed tayo sa last question. May, may, okay, okay. Okay, so the last question is, 
what was the context of the primary sources production? I'm sure kay Tula na ito na answer. So, in this, in this document, Camelo Osias started his speech thinking about Kapisanan sa paglilingkod sa bagong Pilipinas, or the Kalibapi for short, will be exactly a year old, for it was on December 7, 1943, that the association was inaugurated. It is only meet and proper that on the eve of its first anniversary, we pause a while to ponder upon the significance of its establishment and take stock of its achievements as a popular agency in the promotion of the general welfare and in the pursuit, pursuit of our national ideals. Okay, thank you, Tola, for the context. So, sa akin, may kin na lang siya kasi nasayo, nasayo na yung lahat ng details. So I guess the context of the primary sources was the speech um, delivered by the acting director general of the Kalibapi, which is C. Si Camilo Osias, 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 sa kapisadan sa paglilingkod ng ay sa bagong Pilipinas. So um, ano siya yung um, for the first anniversary siya, di ba? So, <clears throat> may connection siya sa first anniversary and ano siya, occurred over station PIAM, Manila, na ganap noong December 7, 1943. And ang significance niya is to establish and stock of its achievement as a, popul uh, as a popular agency in the promotion of general welfare in the of our national ideas. Yes. So, yan lang po. Thank you sa pagsagot ng, um, sa pagsagot sa aking mga katanungan. Sino po bang may mga fun fact dyan or trivia na masipag na nag-research about sa ating topic? May I so, po? So, ang trivia ko lang. Ay, say, wait lang. Si Far muna, si Far muna. So, ang trivia ko, uh, kung sino yung who was the leader of the Kalibapi. So, the leader of Kalibapi, uh, iba pa dun kay um, Camilo, is si President Benigno S. Aquino. Na-search ko lang siya. Tingnan na lang siya, guys. So, na-search ko lang na si uh, Benigno S. Aquino is um, siya yung leader. Leader na Kalibapi. Then, sumunod, uh, kasama niya si Ah, uh, yun na nga si Camilo Osayas. So yun. Okay, thank you for next princess. What's your trivia? So, nag uh, may nabasa akong article. So, sa sinabi doon na nagsimula daw ang Kalibapi nung binuo ang Executive Commission nung 1942. At si Jose P. Laurel ang naging ang napiling commissioner para sa justice. Then yung mga Japanese daw ay nag uh, may pinangako para sa mga Pilipino, yun ay ang mas maagang kalayaan. Pero yung mga pangakong yun ay isang gimmick lamang at hindi, in, uh, at hindi totoo. At para paghanda ng kalayaan kuno na ito ay, tinawa, ay tinatag ng Japanese ang, kapisa, ang kapisana ng paglilingkod sa bagong Pilipinas o tinatawag na uh, Kalibapi. So doon nagsimula yung Kalibapi. Okay, thank you, Princess, sa information yes. and uh -huh. sa pag-research. Anyone, meron ba magdagdag? Wala na. Wala na siguro. Um, meron. Okay, Habol. Okay. <laughs> um, Dagdag ko lang. <laughs> Pahabol. Dagdag ko lang dun sa laman good ng documents na to. Ito siya. Ito ang topic natin. So, okay. Camilo Osias, um, he also enlightens objectives of helping put the country squarely on its economic feet has been closely associated with its campaign for increased food production. So, dun siya nakapokus sa food production. A definitive step 
already taken in this direction in the plan already published to make this year's celebration of Result Day a fruit tree planting day on which uh, 1,000 fruit trees will be planted all over the country. The increment to the country's food supply and economic wealth by such a practical project is so obvious that further elucidation is superfluous. Its moral educational values are, needless to say, incalcul incalculable. So, si Camilo Osias is must um, binigyan niya di in good yung uh, dito, focus siya sa agricultural or kung paano um, yung food production sa ating bansa. So, that's all. Thank you again sa information, Liza. So, meron pa po ba? Wala na. Mag-add din ako. Okay, uh, So, ang i-add ko lang is, syempre sa mga organization is meron yung silang aim or mga uh, aim. So, ang uh, sa Kalibapis, ang aim nila is to aid the gu uh, to guide the Filipino in the performance of this particular duty. Therefore, the organization of the Kaliga Kalibapi is the actual expression of the earnest desire of the Filipino people to serve willingly uh, the cause of all the people of great, uh, Greater East Asia. So, yun lang. Okay, thank you, thank you. Meron pa po? Wala na. Parang ano na siya, no? Hindi na tayo nag-brainstorming, guys. Nag-discuss na talaga. <laughs> <laughs> so, ano, at least helpful siya. Kasi may madagdag tayo sa answers natin. Yes. Nag-share na rin tayo ng ideas. Sino At least grabe na ka-advance pala na itong grupo na ito. Advance reading talaga. From brainstorming, naging discussion na siya. Masyado na tayong formal, guys. <laughs> Pwede na tayong mag -fun. since tapos na tayo sa question and answer natin. Wala naman siguro tayo dagdag. Yun lang rin yung, yun lang din yung um, main questions para ma-find ma out natin kung ano ang meron sa topic na. I guess that's it. Wala na pong dagdag. Wala na. Ano po ba yung uh, dapat nating malaman sa Kalibapi? Okay. Nabigay naman ata lahat ng answers, di ba? Nabigay naman din. Okay. Yes. Thank you guys sa inyong participation. Palakpak tayo sa ating mga sarili. Hindi tayo nag-brainstorm. <laughs> Para ma-perfect natin. Para ma-perfect natin. Sabi pala ng kalibatan. So, ano guys? So, ano guys? Ano guys? May pabalisyon ng Japanese niya? Ano itong meaning ng Japanese? Sabi, partidong Taise Yokon Sankai <laughs> ng pamalaan ng Hapon. Pati yung Harvey Research mo. <laughs> Kasi <laughs> yung <laughs> pananakop ng Hapon na nasakop tayo ng Hapon eh. Kaya kailangan nating i-research yun. <laughs> Iba talaga ang advantage Ay, pag masipag mong research mo. Sana all. Okay, so to formally end our brainstorming, yun guys, thank you po sa participate and paghanda um, research ng advance. Hello guys. Tagpat ko lang. Ah. Oh, sige, go. So last na, sabi dito is uh, malaki daw uh, ang tulong ng Kalibapi sa pagsulong ng uh, pananakop ng Japan sa Pilipinas. 
sila ang punong taga palaganap ng mga uh, patakaran ng uh, Hapones sa bansa, uh, Pilipinas para sa Pilipino. Sinunda nila ang propaganda ng Japan bilang kasapi na ko, uh, ko prosperity sphere or Asia for aesthetics. So, parang yung uh, Talibapis, mara, uh, malaki daw yung tulong nat, uh, malaki daw yung tulong nito sa uh, Pilipinas. So, yun lang. That's all. <laughs> diba? Yun lang. Daming alam, Te. Nahiya ako. <laughs> Okay, wala na po. I guess it's a goodbye. Oh, maghanda na tayo uh-huh. sa ating individual task. <laughs> it's time to separate this. Thank you, guys. Good night. More research about Kalibapi, the speech yes, of Kalibapi. Usap-usapan tayo sa GC. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye. Good night. <laughs>